Yeah, as you said, Joyce, I'm wearing a mask because I am within a mile in that three mile radius that officials were talking about. It's very difficult to see from this point that massive plume of smoke, but we do know that it's there because within the last 20 minutes, we were seeing it. And if you zoom in a little bit, you can just over the tree line see uh, some of the, uh, the orange from the flames that are still burning there. And every now and then when the wind shifts, you can still smell a little bit uh, of it as well. Firefighting reinforcements continued arriving throughout the day and night to help contain the flames. The chem tool plant, one of the largest lubricant manufacturing companies in the country. While they contain the fire on the ground, other officials are looking at the potential chemicals pouring into the air. There are a number of different chemicals that are in there. Uh, one of those is lead. Uh, when it, the other ones is uh, basically what is antifreeze, uh, nitrogen sulfuric acid and a few others. Firefighters stopped using water on the fire to avoid it running into the Rock River. They told people living within a mile of the fire to evacuate. Many will spend the night at Roscoe Middle School, which is ready to take in up to 120 people. So how long are you guys going to be out for? We really don't have no idea right now. We're just planning by ear. It's kind of stressful, you know, to not know exactly what our next move is going to be. But, you know, like I said, um, Luckily, we have enough funds to get a hotel if, it, if, if that's the case. Did you hear the explosion when it happened? Uh, I just heard one big bang, and that's it. We can see the fire from here yeah. right now. I mean, how are you feeling about the whole thing? <laughs> it's pretty scary. Absolutely amazing video. Uh, Caroline, we heard them talk about the various chemicals, lead and sulfuric acid. What are officials saying about the air quality tonight? So we have actually seen firsthand some of those air quality monitoring systems that are around the area. They had one right outside of Roscoe Middle School. Uh, officials with the EPA said that so far today, the air quality was okay, uh, but they're gonna be continuing to monitor that throughout the night. And they're kind of concerned about uh, whether or not that might change once the temperatures cool down and the wind starts to shift, Joyce.